Hello, I am Connie Huck and today is an exciting day because in order to help celebrate Fairy's 50th anniversary, we are getting creative with these empty washing up liquid bottles. And isn't this one a cult icon? The traditional legendary Fairy 50th anniversary bottle is here and we're going to make a rocket out of it. It's something that one of my Blue Peter predecessors, John Noakes, made years and years ago. Your mums and dads might remember that because they're a little bit older, aren't they? Anyway, what you need first up is two of these empty heritage bottles and do make sure that you can use them because, you know, they're collector items. So check with mum or whoever does the washing up. You also will need some scissors with a very sharp point. So you might want to get someone to help you with those. Maybe your dad because dad can be into rockets. You're going to need some tin foil, some felt, some glue, and get this a bicycle pump. Intrigued? Watch on. Now, first up, you need to wash both of your bottles so that they're empty and clean and dry. And then you're ready to cut. And we're going to cut off the top section. So that's cutting along the top ridge there. And then cutting along the bottom section, so parallel to this ridge here. So that you've just got the body of your washing up liquid bottle. And uh, that is going to be the base of our rocket. You then need to cut three slits which are evenly spaced around the base of this rocket. And I'd say the cuts need to be about whoa, eight centimeters in length. And then because of the round cylindrical nature of your bottle, you'll find that it's quite easy to then curl around the cuts. And it also helps to make a sort of T-shape by cutting an extra slit on each side of each of those incisions. And then next, what we're going to do is get our sticky tape out just to secure them in place. So I'm just going to do one here for the purposes of demonstration. So you need to uh, stick that end, it's quite fiddly, with that end there. There we go. And then secure it. Them. So you should end up with something like this. And it's kind of cool because it stands up on its own, which is good for a rocket. So now we've done that, and we've got an important decision to make. Do you want your water rocket or do you want your normal rocket? Let me tell you, the normal rocket is decorative, it's aesthetic, it's beautiful, but it just sits on the launch pad. Meanwhile, the water rocket actually takes off. Yep, it flies. So that's the one that I'm going to show you first of all. Um, and that's the one that will need the bicycle pump if you're wondering what the bicycle pump was for. So for the water rocket, you need to take that top part that you cut off. And then what we're going to do is cut a fringe right the way along it. So you need to cut slits about a centimetre apart and go right the way around the full circle of your bottle. And just for speed and ease, I've got one that I did a little bit earlier. There we go. And you can see that it actually has a sort of frill like that. Now, what we're going to do is assemble it to our bottle. So what you need to do is get the bottle back that we uh, put to one side and turn it upside down. And that goes inside the legs that we've made. Now, it might take a bit of time. There we go. But it pushes in because the plastic is a bit malleable. There we go. And then this is going to be our base. Now, first of all, I must stress that you need to go outside to do this because this rocket is going to fly and we're going to put water inside it as well. And we don't want mums and dads to go, oh, you've wet the nice carpet. So go outside into the garden and then take some water so that you can fill this bottle three quarters full. Now, it's easier to unscrew the cap and use a jug. So once that's three quarters full of water, put the lid back on. Very important. Turn it back upside down and pop it into the base as I demonstrated earlier. And then we're ready to go back to our top frilly bit. Now this bit is going to be the base through which we launch our rocket. So you need to either pin this down to a bit of wood or a bit of something that will secure it or get someone to help you and I recommend the latter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna break off the flappy bit, which is this. Now, if you need to, you might want to use the scissors for that. And then we're going to insert the bike pump into it. Now, this has got a special fitting on it, which means that it's very thin. So it will fit nicely into here. Now, obviously, I haven't put mine securely onto the surface. And I don't have any helpers here to help me. But I'll demonstrate what you would do. You'd put this thin bit, which is in the nozzle of bottle one, into the thin bit of bottle number two. So it's also handy to cut 
the flappy bit off, but make sure you've done that first probably because we don't want the water spilling everywhere. So once you've done that, obviously you don't want your water spilling. So it might be good to put your finger on top so the water doesn't spill out as you secure the two together. And that will sit nicely on your base and the two nozzles are now aligned, which means we are ready for takeoff which means you get pumping with this through there and your rocket will fly. Blast off, Bob's your uncle. Make sure that you're wearing clothes that you don't mind getting wet. So that was rocket number one. But now, what does rocket number two look like, I hear you ask? Well, rocket number two also uses the same legs that we had on our first rocket. But instead of cutting up the second bottle, you just insert it in the right way up. It's as easy as that and you're ready to decorate. Now, you'll see from the rockets that I have made previous now over here, that tin foil is always a great option to use. So it's basically just like wrapping a present. So you cut your tin foil to size and then roll it right the way around your bottle and it's all nice and shiny. And then using glue or maybe some double-sided sticky tape, you just stick it down. So I'll pop one there and then one on the other end like that. And then what's really good about tin foil is it's very malleable. So you can just squidge it over the top and it works out quite nicely. And then I'm gonna cut those similar slits so that I can wrap it right around the legs as you can see, which is done here. Now I'm just doing mine quickly for the purposes of demonstration, but you need to stick those down and then also put a bit of foil on the top. I'll just do that now quickly so that we don't want the red lid showing. And then you're ready to do the fun bit and that's decorating. Now look at all these lovely bits of coloured felt I've got here. Basically what we're going to do is just cut nice shapes out of them. So I've cut myself some stars because that's always quite rocket-like. There we go, some funky decorated stars. Moons as well, we're thinking space. But you can get colourful. You can also just put any shapes or blobs that take your fancy. So I'm going with purple rectangles. If you have a look on the ones that I made a bit earlier, I've colour schemed them. So you just can do whatever you want. Let your creative juices run wild. There we go. And that is what we call woo, a pretty rocket that's ready to fly. Rocket and roll, huh?